Okay, we're on problem number 11. It says a man puts a certain sum of money in a savings bank, uh, paying 4% interest at the end of the year. He deposits the interest. In other words, they give him the interest, he puts it right back in the bank. And um, the second year, he does the same thing. Third year, does the same thing. So what's their question? Their question is, what's the original deposit? I don't know. So what I want to write down is write down what he's doing. So he has money. And the bank is paying him interest. So in the first year, not only did he get his money back, but he gets a 4% interest on it. That's 0 0.04, by the way. So let me explain what this means. I mean, he gets X, he has that money he gave them, and then 4% of X. And that's how much money he would have at the end of the year. But remember, he doesn't take the interest. He leaves it in the bank. And he keeps repeating this. So if he does it again, it's really going to be the same thing. So at, at, at the second year, he does the same exact thing. He leaves the money in there, and he still gets the interest. So now he's getting interest on interest. <coughs> and that's second year. Now the third year, I don't want to write down too much, but the third year what happens, it's happening three times now. So it's going to be one point. I'm sorry, 1 plus 0 0.04, and it'd be three factors of this down. And what is he left off with? Well, 2, 8, 1, 2.16. Now, granted, I don't want to kill you with arithmetic here. I mean, I, 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 th I thought I was going to do it, but I really, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to tell you what the arithmetic would look like. And what's going to look like? Well, this is going to be x, 1.16. 0, 4 cubed equals 2812.16. I want to warn you about this, though. In, when this book was written, students were expected to do that arithmetic without eight. I mean, they, didn't, they certainly didn't have any digital computers back then. You know, I, I, they might have had a slide rule, but I doubt that would be very useful for some of this because they want the exact answer. Now, granted, the, the slide rule might have helped them get to an approximate answer, but then they'd have to verify it was exact or not. What I'm going to claim is you guys have an advantage. What you could do is just simply take your calculators out, take the number 2812.16, and you could easily divide it by 1.04 cubed. And if you do this on a calculator, you're going to find out it's exactly 2,500. I recommend a calculator sometimes. I was thinking I was going to do that arithmetic for you, but then I started to realize it's just too much work, all right? Now, granted, that's, that's a modern person speaking. In Wells' times, they actually, you'd be assessed on your ability to do arithmetic quickly, all right? Kind of a lost skill, by the way. But anyway, thank you for paying attention.